you have a beautiful contrast of oh, sweet and savory. Oh, an explosion of aromas in your mouth. Can't wait to have it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Oh my God, why are you putting butter in there? Man, that knife looks scary, man. You can really lose all your fingers if you do the wrong thing. Sam, be careful. Guys, I love Sam, the cooking guy. I'm a big fan. I'm not judging him here. I'm just judging the way he's making the cacio e pepe. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where we react to Italian food recipes. Good ones, but also bad ones. So many of you sent me this video when it first came out. This guy didn't do a bad job, but sometimes he did. He missed the most important simple steps. This is a video from Sam the Cooking Guy, very popular channel. I have been watching this guy for such a long time. So Sam, don't be, be, don't be offended, we're just reacting. I'm Italian, you made an Italian recipe, I wanna see what you did. So you call this easy cacio e pepe pasta with gnocchi. Incredible, great idea. We start on the right note here, okay? Let's watch it. Cacio e pepe, but made... Mmm, come on. Cacio e pepe. It's like when people say to me, gracias. Gracias is Spanish. Grazie is Italian. Cacio e pepe literally translated means cheese with pepper. It's one That's right. Cheese and pepper. What else do you need? Nothing else. And we're making it today not with uh, the spaghetti, not with linguine or fettuccine or anything like that. We're making it with gnocchi. Well done. Great idea. Great, fantastic idea. I love potato gnocchi. When they are all made. Don't buy those gnocchi from the packet from the shop. They're terrible, okay? Cacio e pepe. Well, actually, now there's the gnocchi part, but it'll make it so much better. Or as they say in Italy, so much better, you know? Okay, I didn't know that's how they say in Italy, but you know, you're saying that you're gonna make a much better pasta. Let's see, the gnocchi probably will take it to the next level. Let's have a look. This is pancetta, it is cured pork belly, and this is a way too freaking hot pan. Holy mother of God. So lift it up. Wait, 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 are you making carbonara? <laughs> Why are you teaching me how to make cacio e pepe and then you're starting by using pancetta? You cannot use pancetta in cacio e pepe. It's like me saying, oh, I'm making carbonara for you. And then I don't use eggs and I use cream. That's not carbonara anymore. I need four ounces of this grated, which is, you know, not an insignificant task. So I'm going to throw it in my uh, bullet and do the thing and it'll be happen like that. Fantastic. Grated. Yes, I love it grated. Don't get chunks. Don't get these long strings of pecorino. Pecorino Romano should always be grated like Parmigiano. Grated, grated like, you know, snow. Beautiful. Cut half of this. So giving Ooh, a rough knife. calculation down the middle. Oh, did he cut his finger with that knife? Look at this, he's got a cut on his finger. Man, that knife looks scary, man. You can really lose all your fingers if you do the wrong thing. Sam, be careful. Beautiful, and I'll take this. Beautiful. It's a great way for you to have pecorino. You just drizzle some honey on top. You have a beautiful contrast of oh, sweet and savory. Oh, an explosion of aromas in your mouth. Can't wait to have it. Okay, great. In the blender, you grate it. What I probably want to be careful is you don't want to overeat the cheese. The reason why I like to do it by hand it's more gentle but let me tell you commercial businesses out there they use machines like this so it's nothing wrong okay i don't want to judge sam he's showing you a good trick to grate the pecorino now for the pepe part the pepper so for pepper we want to fresh grind it yes at all possible and we need about a teaspoon a teaspoon i mean it's not called cacio e pepe because you use a hint of it. Cacio e pepe, it's all about the cheese and the pepper. So you have to be generous with the pepper. Which a teaspoon would be? No. You a said teaspoon. No, I'm saying. You said we need a teaspoon of pepper. Right, which we do. I think we need a little more than a teaspoon. Yes, well done, cameraman. Well done. You do need more than that. What do you mean? Okay, a teaspoon is like this much. Are you teaspoon? trying to say tablespoon? Or no, I'm trying to say that's like a, a teaspoon. teaspoon? Pretty, pretty close. <laughs> I like Sam, he's raw, he's good. He's having fun in the kitchen. 
positive that's not a teaspoon, and a teaspoon of pepper would not be very peppery, but I'll trust you. Just about a teaspoon. Right, let's get, let's check. Get the let's thing, alright. Max doesn't believe me. So look. Oh my god, he's right. Well, it's a generous teaspoon, yeah. And cram it all in there. Come on, look at that. <laughs> okay. It's pretty close pretty to close. a teaspoon, that's what I need. <laughs> I like it, See, that's the reason why I love sand. These are potato gnocchi. They're shelf stable, they live in a package like this oh. on the supermarket shelf. You should always have one or two of them in your pantry. Because yeah, I know it's easy. I know it's easy way to have gnocchi, but let me tell you, the texture is not really that gnocchi texture that you want, okay? They do the job, but Honestly, you make your own gnocchi. I have a recipe how to make ricotta gnocchi. Let me tell you, in 10 minutes, you can make ricotta gnocchi. They're fluffy, they melt in your mouth, and they're so fun to make, okay? So easy. I know potato gnocchi, it's time consuming, but if you make the ricotta gnocchi, it's gonna be 10 times better than this from the packet. Let me tell you. They cook in about two minutes. We're gonna do that now. That's the easy part about those gnocchi from the shop. You know, it, it cooks in two minutes. It's just in there. You pay it three, four dollars, that's it. So when they go to what I would say is... Oh. Oh, 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 oh You didn't put salt. Aggressively salted boiling water. Oh, good, you said and that. Like any pasta, and I always say this, you got to give it a stir when they go in. Well done. The beautiful part about the gnocchi is that they tell you when they're ready by yes. floating to the top. Yes. Two minutes, they'll be ready, we'll take them out, and then we're about three minutes away from being done. Come on, let's do it. The last meal is so important. You mix the pasta, the cheese. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's got pancetta, by the way. Why don't they all just float to the top of the exact See, they come to the top. Because we're going to be finishing them in the pan with a little more heat, as they float up, we'll take them out, we'll let them drip a bit, we'll put them in a bowl. You know, Sam, we just put them straight in the pan. The pan should have the pasta water already in there, but the pepper should be already in the pan, cooking with the water, you know, so you give the nice flavor to that water. Don't move that camera, please, because we're gonna need uh, roughly a cup of this pasta water that we'll now get. You should have done that before, while the gnocchi were cooking. So now the gnocchi don't have to sit there. The gnocchi should have been already in the saucepan right now. By the way, I love this cooktop. It's just a dream, I think. It's a dream cooktop for everyone. And that must be cast iron, or what is it? Beautiful. We can bring the pan with the pancetta fat in it oh. back onto the heat and start it warming. Taking too long, guys. And when this starts to warm itself, thin out a bit, like this. So what I like to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Oh my god, why are you putting butter in there? All you need to add is pepper. If you want to add butter, then put extra virgin olive oil. With that pancetta fat, oh. now this combination is absolutely tremendous. Okay. And then I want to toast the pepper bit. So we'll... This should have been done before. I always tell you guys, cook your sauce first, then you make the pasta at the end, and then you put the pasta straight from the water into the pan. That's, that's it. This Let it do its thing here. Should have done it before. So he used pancetta, that was a mistake, but no pancetta. You toss the pepper with nothing in the pan. The flavors of the pepper comes out. This makes me happy. Just this part makes me happy. You make me happy, Sam. You make me happy. Right now, I've actually done it differently, but this makes me feel good about all this. Now we're gonna take our gnocchi and drop them back in. So <laughs> finally, finally, mamma mia. Thank God he did that. Thank God, thank God. Here we go. Toss in the gnocchi. Make sure you don't fry them like Gordon Ramsay. Beautiful. At this point, oh. we sort of want to toast the gnocchi a little bit. Let the... Yeah, but add a little bit of water. They need a little bit of water, okay? Otherwise they're gonna kind of break this apart quality gnocchi. You know, they can get stuck to the pan, they can break. Butter and the fat from the pancetta work its magic. Start to get a little bit of color on the outside of these guys. I do understand why he wanted to use the butter, you know, just, you know, to give the extra flavor to the gnocchi. You know, why not? And I, I understand, sorry, Sam. But you can see, literally in the time it takes you to make regular dry pasta, you can have this pretty much done. I agree. What you're doing here, Sam, is you are frying them like Gordon Ramsay. You don't have to fry them. What we want to know right now is when are you adding the cheese? Switch off the stove, 
add the cheese. Well, you also add pancetta and add pancetta. Taken out, that's all gorgeous and crispy. It's a nice dish. Unbelievable. It's, um, These guys get a quick toss. Now, gnocchi alla grigia. Put about a third of the cheese in. No, you can't put the cheese now because it's still on the stove. The cheese will become stringy. That's not what you want, my friend. You can actually create a pecorino cream by adding the pecorino, grated pecorino, and a little splash of water. It becomes a nice creamy, thick chunk of cheese that you add at the end when the stove is off. Oh, look at the strings. Oh, it's getting stuck to the pan. Oh, no more. Fabulous. There's nothing. Like, look at that, look at the strings. Look at, the it starts to get look at the strings. Cheesy, gooey, runny. Look at the strings there. Let's bring some pasta water back to the party. Oh, thank God. But no, no, no. What's going to happen now? Right. More strings. She's lurking out there. No. Well, the now. pasta water should have been added before. You do that now, you're going to get strings all over the place. Yes, you needed to put the water because it was way too dry. But next time, put the water first. And now this cheese in here. No. It's gonna melt with this water. No. Oh gosh. No, it's no gosh, it's wrong, more Sam. Cheese, more cheese. No, don't put more. You have to switch off the pan. More oh, the strings. More oh, the strings. What we've done here. More oh, the strings. Nothing wrong with that. It's delicious. You know, it's actually delicious. I'm not judging Sam for this because this is great. It's a beautiful dish. He enjoyed it. It's creamy. It's the fact that he called it Kacha Pepe and he's confusing all of you. Oh my heaven. He's gonna enjoy this. Sam is really going to love this. Guys, what can I say? Um, Sam is a guy that you love. You can't not love this man. It's just funny. His house is beautiful. It's, he created this wonderful kitchen outside there. And it's just amazing. And the cameraman was a lovely guy. There's nothing bad I can say. It's just that um, next time, maybe learn a little bit more about the dish before you share it with all of us. The gnocchi creation, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Apart from that, everything else is wrong, my friend. Okay, you could have done a much better job if you watch my video. You know, I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Play video recipe, which hopefully you can learn how to make more Italian dishes the Italian way. And I make mistakes too, right? I, everyone makes mistakes, you know? But we try to keep the dishes real. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's plate. Thank you so much, guys. I love you so much.